Wow, here we go. TV Photo X 1.5 TFX, and welcome back to another video. Well, <clears throat> Black Friday has come and gone, and we went eating for Cyber Monday, and yeah, probably that's also over after this has been uh, aired. But anyway, yeah, I'm sitting here reading uh, the. Uh, if you're a member of SSDS, which is Svenska Sportdykar Förbundet, uh, SSDF or something like that, Svenska Sportdykar Förbundet, you're also getting their, uh, and their, uh, what is it, quarterly magazine, Sportdykar, a recreational diver or sport diver would be the correct, the direct translation uh, for, <clears throat> yeah. But anyway, it says here number 5 for 2020, so 5th, but yeah, you get this when you're, the mem uh, when you're a member of the Swedish uh, Recreational Divers Association, so to speak. But what do I, this is the first magazine I received, and what do I read on the first page of the first number that I received? <clears throat> December 2020. Last issue, Sportdykaren, <laughs> established in 1958 and one of the world's oldest dive magazine. Unfortunately, this is the last issue. So SSDF has actually then decided to cancel this magazine. So yeah, the first number I got is also the final number. So. Yeah, it's a pity, but uh, uh, could be worse, but still this would have been a really cool thing to get a couple of times a year as a recreational diver. Hopefully they will see that this might be something to bring back in a new way, in any way, shape or form. But anyway, I think that we're just gonna continue with the little Black Friday haul that I managed to do that I have on the table here. Uh, for disclosure, the, everything on this table was purchased from the website Cpro, that is S-E-A-P-R-O dot S-E. So it's a Swedish website that had this little Black Friday <coughs> sale. So yeah, I thought it was a little bit of a couple of things here, but uh, yeah, I'll just go through it and maybe have some B-roll of it as well. First thing that I got was basically you all know these, my old school Morris gloves. They're basically, what are they now? 16 years old by this point. Uh, and they're high, you know, they go high up on my forearm basically. And I thought it might be time to, you know, get a new fresh pair of gloves. So here they are, basically it's Aeropec, a company that has been around for decades from what I've been told and been able to gather they don't really just do scuba diving and recreational diving they all sorts of outdoor activity they have a finger in it uh, when it comes to outdoor activity uh, sports and so on but just to you know compare a little bit these are size medium these are size small but basically you can see how these fit me fairly good five finger good disc Dexterity. Uh, let's see. These are five mil gloves. These are also five mil, I believe. Yes, these are also five mil, but they're size small. But as you can see, the difference here. These ones, yeah, they're a little bit bigger, but they also these basically just go to my to my wrist. These ones, you can see, they're halfway up my forearm. Uh, why did I decide to re not replace, but get something to, you know, be able to, you know, decide? I can I can pick and choose so which one I want to use. Well, these ones worked brilliantly for my old school, my old uh, seven millimeter semi dry, but I have two new suits actually that I'm planning to use uh, in 2021, and they have cuffs 
on them. So you both have a neoprene seal against your wrist, but then you have a cuff that goes over it. So then these will be much more practical to use with those specific suits. So this, these ones still have a place. They are good for my seven, seven millimeter semi-dry, but these ones, they're basically for the two other suits <clears throat> that might be featured in a future uh, episode. But anyway, let's let's get on with it, shall we? So, first little acqu new acquisition, a pair of Aeropec uh, 5mm gloves. Brilliant, I can't wait to use these in an actual situation. Second, uh, well, as stated, uh, my semi-dry, 7mm semi-dry has a built-in hood on it. But uh, that was that uh, the new suits that I've gotten don't come with built-in hoods. So that's a thing that I needed. So I got this. It's also by Aeropec. It's a hood with a little bit of a collar on it. You can see Aeropec. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, they, they have some different... Maybe I will get some other stuff from this brand because Looking around a little bit about what they have in in their inventory and repertoire, uh, Aeropec seems like they have some really good st stuff uh, in their catalog. So, yeah, this is a medium. It fits me brilliantly. It has a little bit of a neoprene seal on the inside, you know, like so. It doesn't really have that around here. So, and let's see, this is also size medium. And I don't know if the <clears throat> video is able to pick this up but one of the biggest things that you need to have on one of these since they are so snug around your face uh, they will actually when you sometimes when you exhale or when you're clearing your mask uh, from water and so on air can actually be trapped inside the hood and it actually has a vent in the back so they have a couple of small holes here which I think is for be able to vent out air that is trapped in the hood. So, yeah, maybe not maybe not the most interesting piece of gear, but uh, something that is very in very much useful to keep the cold out uh, when you're in the northern style of diving. That, yeah, here. Also, here's a little bit of a thing that I started to learn in the diving course that I attended, is that. Well, you can see on the BC I have back here, and uh, the decor, the rig, a lot of D-rings and so on to be able to clip off equipment and so on. But if you want to be a little bit more hydrodynamic and so on, if you have a wetsuit for instance, and you need to carry some gear and you want to be a bit streamlined, well, then these might be, these are also by Aeropec. And... Uh, they are basically a pair of, I wouldn't call them chaps really, but they are a equipment belt, almost like a carpenter's belt. So what do they have? Well, well, you put these on the uh, over top of your wet suit or dry suit, whatever it, the case might be. It is secured with Velcro, both around your legs and around your waist. Also, also then it has it has these two little pockets on the sides with venting in the bottom, of course. And in each pocket, there is a lanyard with a plastic D-ring. I might, uh, I might do a little bit of a upgrade to this. There is also a loop here, fabric loop, that I'm able to put some kind of contraption in as well. But the entire thing is that you're able to put some material away in these two pockets. So for instance, it can be some rolls, it can be DSMBs, uh, it can be ex you know, extra, an extra scuba mask, whatever equipment you might want to store away to make yourself a little bit more hydrodynamic, uh, you can put in these. The only downside I've been able to find with these uh, <clears throat> in uh, the current, at the current moment is actually the the waist belt because these ones yeah you have a you know you have a clip to clip them off and so on and you can adjust the width of them but they don't keep the 
I mean, uh, I think there's a little bit too thin of a webbing material here because they don't hold the position. You can actually pull them very easily and loosen them very easily. So that might be something to, you know, modify in the future, so to speak. So yeah, 9 out of 10 then basically, because, you know, the Velcro will keep them in place, but uh, yeah. Something in the, for the future to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a DIY solution to that. Uh, then we have here an excess, extra scuba mask. Uh, this one is also by Aeropec. Uh, it came in this little mask box. Uh, these ones are brilliant. In, if you have an, a spare mask box, these are brilliant, in my opinion, to make a save a dive kit out of. So basically, I. How do you know if a mask is properly suited for you? Well, uh, keep in mind when I'm diving, I'm using contact lenses, but. Uh, the only the thing you should do is when you're trying on a mask in a store or when you've bought them like this, you're supposed to be able to put them on your face and uh, they should stick. You're not supposed to use the bat around your neck and it, around your head and it will still stick in the same place. So for me, this works brilliantly. So as an extra mask, really, really good in my opinion. You know, I have my old, what is this? Sniper mask that I've been. This is 16 years old. This is brand new. Morris snorkel and so on. So yeah, a, a backup mask. It's a frameless backup mask with a tempered glass uh, insert. You know. So yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, uh, I thought this would look very cool. They were cheap Black Friday sale, and uh, I thought that well. Great to have a backup pair, pair if something happened to my primary. And the final one, a little bit of a nod to my instructor who asked me to, well, if you have a DSMB, get a spare reel for it. So I got this spool. I think it's a fairly no name brand made in Taiwan. It's uh, this says 100 feet. So about a 30 meter roll from what I've been able to gather. Okay, let's see how, there we go. Play with that. It came with a double ender. It has, well, they have put a little bit of a loop on it to begin with, but uh, yeah, I think I'll need to modify this a little bit to suit my own needs. Uh, as many people have stated when you listen to people talk about reels like this, finger reels, on YouTube, uh, the majority of them comes overcharged with the line. So yeah, I might take off a little bit of line from this one and uh, use that for some other applications. But uh, I think it's a kind of cool now because now I have a or a orange line like this, and I from before I have a green line. So yeah, that. That's a good part for me, so I have two different colors, so, yeah. Yeah, I think I really need to remove some line from this one, since I can basically not clip it off, because there is too much line in the way. There we go, something like that. Just, it's, you know, it, it is a aluminium spool with a double ender and some orange line on it. Perfect accessory for any scuba diver, 1001 uses. Well, I think that is uh, all for me for this video. It's just a little bit of the Black Friday haul and uh, I'll probably show you some B-roll probably with me uh, demonstrating some of this. And uh, yeah, and as always, this is Tobias Bergstrom from TB Photo X 1.5 TFX. And I'd like to see you guys in the next video. And as always, Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. So take care from now on. Bye. Oh, and before I go, did you do any Black Friday shopping, um, scuba related or otherwise? Put it in the comment section below, and I would really like to know what's what in that aspect for you. Uh, so yeah, take care from now on. Bye.